Hi, I'm Dave with Mako Spear Guns, and today we're talking about making your hunt even more successful with the flasher ball, fish flashers, and throw flasher. There are a lot of ways to rig flashers. A lot of it comes down to personal preference and what works for you in your environment. A great starting point is to rig your flashers about two feet apart, tuning the length more or less depending on the clarity of the water you're diving in and the brightness of the sun. We like to add a small weight to the top of the string of flashers to help get the flashers down, but it doesn't dampen the action that creates those great light flashes as they dance in the water. For easy let out and retrieval, hook your string of flashes to the utility reel and you're ready to go. Or check out the flasher float that not only makes let out and retrieval a snap, but also makes it easy to store your flasher rig when not in use. For even more light action, add the flasher ball to the bottom of your flasher string, or hook it separately to another reel and let your flashers dance freely. Or go untethered with our fish flasher kit. Rigging the throw flasher is pretty straightforward. Let's start by stringing the flashes together with the reel line. Make a simple overhand knot and then a second one so we have a nice big knot in the line. Now spray some lubricant on the knot and using a small screwdriver push the knot into the tubing. Use your band tying line to form a single constrictor knot and pull the ends tight with your pliers. And that's it. Your throw flashers are ready to draw on some serious targets. So make your hunt more successful and check out all the Mako Spear Guns fish flasher options at the link below.